you're clicking on this video, you've probably ran into an error when trying to play an ISO on your PS3. Uh, in my case, I'm trying to play Ratchet and Clank all for one off an NTFS drive. When I launch the game, I get a black screen and then a few seconds later, the UI pops back up and I get this message saying 8001.17, an error occurred during start operation. Now, the cause of this is that the ISO has not been decrypted. An ISO won't work on the PS3 if it's still encrypted, and the game will need to be decrypted before you play it. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to decrypt your PS3 ISOs on PC using a tool called Simple GUI for PS3 decryption. So over on PC now, there's a couple websites that you're gonna to wanna to have open. Uh, there's a Myriant content listing for the decryption keys. Uh, very important that the file name for the decryption key matches the file name for the ISO. So in my case, I'm using uh, Ratchet and Clank All for One USA Brazil. So I'm just going to drag that onto my desktop. And then I'm going to unzip it. And I'm just going to leave it for now. Next thing you want to do is once you download uh, the PS3 decryption folder from Mediafire, uh, go ahead and extract it to its own folder. Move that aside. And you'll see here you have two files. You can click on the executable and it'll generate some files and folders for you to use. Now, one thing to notice is that it will not work if there are special characters in the file name of the ISO or the decryption key. Um, if I haven't ran into that issue personally, and I've done this a lot, if you have that problem, what I would recommend doing is renaming the file name of the ISO in the decryption key to something different. You know, the same thing, just without special characters, because it won't work if it has the special characters in the file name. So now, uh, set that aside, you're just going to drag your decryption key into the D keys folder. And then you're going to drag your ISO onto simple GUI. It's going to say start processing, you're going to say yes. And now it will start decrypting. And this will take some time depending on how big the game file is. So once that's over, you'll get this pop-up saying decryption completed. So you can just click OK on that and you can close out a simple GUI. And now the decrypted ISO will be added to the decrypted ISO folder here. And now you can just copy this back onto your external drive or you can FTP it over back to your PS3 and we can see if it works. So back over on PS3 now, since I am using Webman and I added the game back to the file drive, I'm going to need to use Prep ISO just to rescan it. So that's going to restart the PS3. Now, after PS3 has been restarted, I'm going to go back into Webman. I'm going to find Ratchet and Clank, and I'm going to start that. And you'll see that no more errors. It has been fixed. Game is decrypted. It can run now. Um, depending on the game, you might have to install some things to the hard drive. In my case, I do. But anyways, error has been fixed. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. The heroes of the 